hey guys welcome back to a freak gaming um it might be a bit strange that we're kicking off the episode straight into the gameplay um but today it's gonna be a hectic um episode we have a lot of games so let's get into the gameplay straight away yep guys today we are taking on um what fit at home and then right after this we have another game so it's going to be tough that's why we've rotated the team and um let's get into the gameplay guys maluleka um attacking kambole oh no the ball was kambole is through but who's in the box though kambole with the strength and he hits it to kieran back is still playing in that center back role guys um we definitely need to get um a center back in in january guys we are still struggling still having to play defensive midfielders at um center back guys mashani gives the ball away directly to watford and they are coming hits me with a step over ref thank you so much ah dolly couldn't make the run we give it out to Kambole. Kambole with the time. Dolly again. Wow. So many opportunities to score. But the Watford defense is keeping us out again. Oh, Dolly was in an offside position. Gets it wide. But there's no way Tiantia gets into that box. Um, it's so congested, guys. And that is it. We go to halftime. Nil-nil with Watford. Zuma with the hit. Oh, straight into the goalkeeper's hands. But I'm um, good interchanging play. Um Can we get it out? Yep. Oh, he gives it straight back to the attacker. Come on. And what would go up? Um a goal from Delaney. Um really a defensive mistake. We had the ball was supposed to clear and he just passes it back straight into Delaney and Ekpe couldn't stop it. So we go a goal down. Dolly. Kambole. We get it to Dolly with the hit. And the goalkeeper again just keeps blocking us at every juncture. Zuma with the hit. Nothing. And um, I think this is it. There was the last attack of the game. Um, we go down a goal to nil at watford at home really tough game and um we move on the next game we are taking on manchester city yep guys um a defeat to watford but we have bigger problems to worry about we are facing man city we are going to man city um so let's get into the gameplay let's just rotate the squad bring the a team in fully rested um everyone is ready to go i feel we can get a result at man city even though we are playing away but i'm ready to take them on and give them a good run for their money yep guys we are at the etihad stadium taking on man city this is one of the biggest tests um of the season um a really bump up in quality we'll see what a world-class team looks like um it's going to be a tough game here we really have to be really defensive really patient not diving in and um let's get into man city wow bernardo silva just beating wow the press from man city is crazy guys and just the speed that they press with is crazy okay let's come down and just play our football de bruyne kune cardozo he gets it wide we bring it out katande gives the pass to cardozo leandro castro with the assist to willard katande getting the ball from billiard and um we just give it out wide to leandro castro because he was in the better position um man city really pressing high and we broke the press and we just hit them on the counter nice oh we need to keep position position is so important against a team like city sasman gets it to kune look at how they swarm the 
box. Cardozo putting his body on the line. Nice. Frostler losing out on the ball. I have five blue shirts right around me. Um, the Man City press is really high, really dangerous, trying to get you. Um, yep, we break it again. Nurkovic. Samir. Samir! Ooh. Edison. Sazman. Is there any support? Manyama. Ooh, intercepted. Katsande again. We've been handling the pressure quite nicely from City so far. So, um, not too bad, I would say. Still just moving the ball around nicely. Trying to avoid um, these pressing traps from Manchester City. Oh. Biliat. Katsande. Get it to Nakovic. Ooh. Edison gets the save. City really moving the ball nicely. Katsande. Katsande. Yes. A great block from Gadinho. Nice. Plays it long, but Frostler is crowded out. Kambole. Biliat. Plays it to Castro. Back to Biliat. Ooh. Edison. Saving ditch on the line. Um, Billiard had more time. I could have taken another touch just to improve my shooting area, but I took it a bit early. And it is what it is. Edison comes out strong. Wow. We played back to Jagen. Can he whip it in? Oh, Edison again. I'm um, coming out clutch, saving the ball. And that is it. We've held City to a 1-0 um, goal in the first half. But City have really been putting pressure on us. But um, we'll try and keep the same pressure in the second half. And we kick off the second half um, really having a great interchanging play between the players. Um, it's been a bit tough though. But we'll still try and squeeze um the most out of it billiard recovering dropping back trying to win the ball back really important um work from karma billiard squeezes it out to sazman sazman to castro leandro castro with the quality guys if you can break the man city press and then it's easy to pick out your players and just break them apart leandro castro um, getting the second goal of the game all started by Sazman. just look at the space Castro just needed to pick a shot and that is it we are two goals up at the Etihad and um, now we are cruising we just need to keep it defensively tight and that will be it Reese Frostler 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 in acres of space Billiard hits the post Oh my days, Kama Billiard hitting the post. What a great run from Reese Frostler. And Billiard just hits it the first time, beating Edison. But the post came out clutch. Guys, you just need to crowd out um, the Man City defenders. Um, try and get as many defenders around the Man City players as you can. Don't make any challenges. Just try and crowd them out. That um, tactic has been working for me so far um so yep and quick countering breaks guys we lose out castro just keep dropping back guys don't give them any chances yes matoho billiard nukovic ah billiard could be in an offside position not sure oh come on billiard again wow Ah, but I think it got a touch, ref. No corner, come on, VAR. Oh, Billiard, Manyama with a hit. Edison coming up with the goods again. City have so many players committed up front. Once you break um, their press and counter attack, they are done. We give it back to Aguero again, guys. Look at Aguero. 
um, not enough support around him. So let's just keep dropping back. Um, the tactic has been working so far. Castro again dropping. Katsande so deep. Frosler, we give it back to Billiard. In acres of space, Castro. Come on. Because um, the city attackers will beat your defenders at ease. Ooh, got really lucky. Aguero in acres of space. He could have curled it. Okay, no, no. It was a long way away. Okay, nice. But all you can do is just get as many players behind as you can. Ooh, Aguero just missing wide again. So close, but yet so far. Um, making some changes, you know, just bringing on the likes of Bernard Parker and Reese Frostler just to get him some game time because Parker has been really complaining about the game time lately. So I just want to give him some game time on the pitch. Oh, again, Billiard. Let's just drop back deep into the box, guys. That's the only way we stop this city team try and close down any shooting angles but we couldn't aguero gets the goal against kune um city go up 2-1 but i think um mother time is on our side so i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna yep guys that is it we get all three points at the etihad against man city the chiefs fans looking good in black and yellow and city are distraught um isco has signed for man city what a surprise um let's get into the post um, match interview let's get into the interview with two goals to secure the win castro was the hero today any thoughts a remarkable performance by leandro castro what are your thoughts um i'd say it was an overall great performance from the squad everyone really played well so i wouldn't just give it to castro alone against all odds you defeated man city by a single goal would you have liked to win by more um a win is a win i'll take it yep doesn't matter by how many goals you win winning is everything at this club and we want to keep winning were you concerned about the last minute goal by man city um nah it's irrelevant we get our three points and um city scoring or not scoring doesn't really matter we move um forward and there's the end of the press conference yep guys and that is it we've beaten man city at home but we have another big fixture right ahead coming up against um liverpool actually and um i think we have a press is it an interview with akpe um what's what's akpe saying in the interview can we check it out akpe delighted with um chiefs opportunities oh okay yeah, yeah we've been rotating the squad a lot really giving my key players a rest out there so it's really important in terms of circulating um the minutes keeping your whole squad i'm um, happy and guys um january is here we are about to enter into january so um i think i'll end the episode on the 31st so i can get some um um comments from you guys really tell me the areas we can improve in um let's look into the squad guys especially guys we've been struggling with center backs um i need another center back at least because um ngazana was injured he's still coming back from an injury so i've had to play Koti and Bakas at center back so that's an area we really need um strengthening so let's get into the search and um look at some defensive options i was looking at the likes of Quatswayo, he's 30 now, but he's still a 75 rated center back and he can play at right back as well. And Clanty as well, he can play um, at center back and left back. So I was thinking maybe this would be two great additions, but I'm not happy with the age because they're both 30. Um, we still can't make a move for Percy Tau because he's still out on loan at Club Bruges um another player i was looking at is reese frostler he really has great stats um maybe bringing in a young attacking forward with a lot of pace that can play on the wings because zuma hasn't been cutting it 
so um we'll see we'll see about that um so guys please let me know um what other players you would want um us to make a move for just to strengthen our squad and we need to start thinking about transfers because next year we're really going to have a lot of competitions um because i think we should be able to qualify for at least the europa league because now we're currently in fifth place um so not bad um let's look at some other alternatives let's just quickly search for other south african players in the game so let's do it yep guys we found all the south african talent in fifa 20 so there's a lot of um defensive um cover especially at um orlando pirates but if you guys remember we can't buy any orlando pirates players so um Butlem kwanazi this is someone that we should also be looking at but he's currently injured um he's out for the next four months but let's just put him on the short list you never know um in midfield are there any um let's see wow tajrik matthews from um he's here at dortmund nice let's put him also on the list maybe in the future we could make a move for him um i'm thinking of getting um matlasela back i want him back we need more cover also molongwane um stats still looking good even though he's 30 um changase playing at menpolier so i'm thinking of bringing all these um players back we have the likes of um lebahang piri tulani sarero bogani vilakazi um a lot of players um let's see what attacking talents we have um hmm, zuma okay zwane is 30 i'm not really happy with his age but um guys if you guys want to see zwane in the squad he's a great player i wouldn't mind having him but um let's end it here just right before the game against liverpool right before the transfer window opens so we can make some buys and see who we can get in to improve the squad guys please don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode